Hello everyone. In this video, we will see about comparison of certs. We will see two different methods of comparing certs. So let us start. Compare the following pair of certs. Okay, here there are two certs which is given here. 5 root 5 and 7 root 2. So we have to compare. Means we have to find which third is bigger. Okay. Now see the solution. First we will see 5 root 5. 5 root 5. Okay. Now see here 5, 1 5 is outside the square root sign. Okay. So we have to take this 5 also inside the square root. So how you will do see. It is equal to square root of 5 into. For bringing this 5 inside the square root sign. We have to multiply it 2 times. Okay. So 5 into 5. Which is equal to square root of 5 into 5 will be 25. 25 into 5 will be 125. So, square root of 125. So, 5 root 5 is square root of 125. 7 root 2. We will do the same thing for 7 root 2. 7 root 2. Okay. Now, here 2 is inside the square root sign. But 7 is outside the square root. So, we will take this 7 inside the square root. So, what we will do? Square root of 2 into, this 2 is already inside square root. 7 we have to take inside means, this means we will multiply 7 into 7, okay? 7 we will multiply 2 times. 7 into 7, which is equal to square root of 2 into 7 is 14, 14 into 7 is 98. So, square root of 98. So, 7 root 2 is square root of 98. Now, we will see this 2. Now, see this 2 number. 125 and 98. See only this 2 number. Okay. So, 125 is bigger or 98 is bigger? 125 is bigger. Okay. So, we will write since one twenty five is here 125 is greater than 98. So 125 is greater than 98. Okay 125 is greater than 98. Therefore square root of 125 will be greater than square root of 98. Okay if 125 is greater than 98 then square root of 125 will be greater than square root of 98. Now, what is square root of 125? Square root of 125 is 5 root 5. Okay. Therefore, 5 root 5 greater than square root of 98 is here. Square root of 98 is 7 root 2. 7 root 2. Okay. Therefore, 125 is greater than 7 root 2. Okay. So, here we have compared this. Now 6 root 2 and 5 root 3. Now this is another method. There are two methods. Now first method we have already seen. One more method. Okay. Now 6 root 2 is there. No. So we will what we will do? We will take square of 6 root 2. 6 root 2 the whole square. Okay. We will take square of 6 root 2. Okay. So what it will be? 6 square into root 2 the whole square which is equal to 6 square will be 36 into root 2 square will be 2 which is equal to 72 okay this square of this is 72 now we will take square of the next number 5 root 3 okay 5 root 3 the whole square which is equal to 5 square into root 3 square so 5 square is 25 into root 3 square is 3 which is equal to 75. Now see these two numbers. Which no, now 72 is less than 75. Right. So since 72 is less than 75. What is 72? 72 is which number? 6 root 2 the whole square. Okay. So therefore 6 root to the whole square is less than 75. 5 root 3 the whole square. Okay. So, 5 root 
3 is the whole square. See here both the sides square is there. So we can cancel it. So what we will get? 6 root 2 is less than 5 root 3. So for comparing thirds with square root sign. Whenever there is square root sign we can take square of both the numbers. And we can compare whatever the answer we are getting that we can compare and finally we will compare this search. Okay. So this is one more method. So this we have compared this two search. Okay. So this is the final answer. 5 root 3 and 9. Okay. We have to compare this. See here one in one side there is square root sign and one side there is it is a whole number. So how you will do C. 5 root 3 we can write it as 5 root 3 we can write it as this 5 we can take it inside the square root okay. So how you will do square root of 3 into 3 is already inside the square root this 5 we have to take inside the square root what we have to do we have to multiply the same number that is 5 2 times. So 3 into 5 into 5 okay square root of 3 5 is a 15, 15 5 is a 75. So, square root of 75. Okay. And see, here 9. For comparing thirds, the order should be equal. Here, square root is there. But here, only 9 is there. So, 9 how you can take, write as square root. See, 9 we can write it as square root of 9 into 9. This 9 also we have to take inside the square root. Okay. Here we have square root sign. Okay. So, for comparing this 9 should be also inside square root. So, we have taken this 9 inside square root. Okay. Which is equal to square root of 9 9 is 81. Okay. Now, see. The order of this 2 has become same. Now, we can compare. Here, 75 is less than 81. So, since 75, this number 75 is less than this 81 okay therefore square root of 75 will be also less than square root of 81 okay 75 is less than 81 that means square root of 75 will also be less than square root of 81 okay therefore square root of 75 is what square root of 75 is this number 5 root 3 okay so 5 root 3 is less than square root of 81 is here 9. Square root of 81 is 9. So, we have compared these two thirds. So, 5 root 3 is less than 9. So, this is the final answer. Okay. Compare the following pair of thirds. 5 root 2 and 3 root 5. Now we have seen two methods. So any method we can use and compare this two. Okay. So here I am going to use the second method. Okay. First I will take square of this 5 root 2. Okay. So square of 5 root 2 I will take. Square of 5 root 2 will be 5 square into root 2 square. So 5 square is 5 5 is a 25 into root 2 square is 2. So which is equal to what we will get? 50. Now we will take square of this term. That is 3 root 5. 3 root 5 the whole square. Okay. So, which is equal to 3 square into square root of 5 the whole square. 3 square is 3 3 is a 9 into square root of 5 the whole square will be 5. Which is equal to 9 5 is a 45. After squaring this we got 50 and after squaring this third we got 45. Here 50 is Greater than 45. Okay. So we will write. Since here 50. 50 is. Greater than 45. Okay. Okay. So 50 is what? 5 root 2 the whole square. Okay. So therefore. 5 root 2 the whole square is greater than 45. What we have got 45. 3 root 5 the whole square. Okay. So, 3 root 5 the whole square. Okay. Here both the sides square is there. So, we can cancel it. So, what will remain? Therefore, 5 root 2 is greater than 3 root 5. 
So here we have compared these two thirds that is 5 root 2 is greater than 3 root 5. So this is the final answer. Okay. Compare the following thirds 2 root 7 and square root of 28. This two we have to compare 2 root 7. What we will do? We will take this 2 inside this square root. Okay. Square root of 7 is already there. So into 2, if we take it inside, we have to multiply it 2 times. So 2 into 2. Okay. So which is equal to square root of 7 to the 14, 14 to the 28. Okay. The second number is what? Root 28. Right. Here also we are getting square root of 28. Okay. So what we can write? Since here also we are having 28 and the second number is also we are having square root of 28. So since 28 equal to 28. Okay. Therefore square root of 28 equal to square root of 28. So after simplifying here we got square root of 28. Therefore 2 root 7 equal to this 28. Okay, this we will keep it as it is. That is square root of 28. See, we have com compared this two. This means what? This 2 root 7 and square root of 28, these two thirds are equal. Okay, after simplification, we got this root 28 and the second number is root 28. So, both these numbers, both these thirds are equal. So, this is the final answer. Okay. So, here we end this video. We have seen how to compare thirds. We have seen two different methods. I hope you must have understood both the methods. If you have any doubt in this topic, please write it in the comments. If this video was useful to you, then please like and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.